Hello and welcome back to the Nikolov's show, I guess. That's not the name, but still, did you know that if you want to develop an app for KDE and you want to use a KDE framework to actually build the app, there's like three different choices, if not more, but three are the main ones. So they are Krigami, but also Maui, but also just QT widgets. And I'm going to offer examples of them. I'm going to quickly explain what they are and why they are different and why three. Before we get into that, just quick shout out to all the patrons. Just a new one today, so I'm very happy. And uh, this month I'm currently in Stockholm. Not exactly a lot of money. So if you want to do a pattern, uh, keep in mind that I'm doing all of this in my free time. So it is particularly well appreciated. But anyway, this is Dolphin. You probably know about Dolphin. Now, Dolphin is a relatively old uh, KDE application, a very good one in my opinion, but in the context of KDE applica uh, applications, it has its, uh, its good story. I think it looks very nice. And uh, it is built using Qt widgets. In general, all applications that uh, are on the older side, again, not uh, I'm not saying old as a negative thing at all. Uh, I'm just trying to distinguish from the applications that were created in the last three, four years, which are actually a lot. All the KD applications that are on the, on the older side generally use Qt widgets because when Dolphin was created, QML didn't exist. So what's QML? I'm probably just confusing you at this point. Let, let's explain everything. Let me also open um, Discover, which is not QD widgets. Discover is a more recent uh, KD application. Okay, so KD, KDE uses Qt. I, I think we know that. Qt is what is the toolkit that actually allows KDE to draw anything on the screen amongst other things actually. But it's rather important to actually draw things on the screen. And it offers different ways on drawing, <laughs> of drawing on the screen. Uh, when Dolphin was created, the main one was uh, through Qt widgets, but then QML was created. QML is a markup language that you can, um, in, in which you can embed uh, JavaScript. So it, it is almost a fully fledged programming language because it has JavaScript inside of it but it is a markup language that describes the UI and through JavaScript, also the, func uh, the functioning of an application. Why QML? QML is interpreted instead of compiled, usually. <laughs> I'm not trying to be technical. Uh, so it is a bit slower compared to the other alternatives, which are Qt widgets, which you uh, describe in C++ directly. However, it is much, much simpler for um, people that don't know to programming that well to actually edit. And even if you do know programming, it is easier to read and easier to maintain. So it is a bit like HTML, CSS, JavaScript online. It is a very similar concept. Uh, there's a lot of people that know how to do web pages basic web pages, but maybe not programming in C++ because it's slightly um, easier to get into. Not necessarily to know well, but to get into. QML, similar things. It's easier to read, easier to maintain. So it was a um, pretty nice thing. And when it was announced, however, uh, on top of QML, QML didn't have like all the, all the end user widgets already. There's Kurigami. Kurigami is built on top of QML. Kurigami, I think, is mostly or entirely written in QML, as far as I'm aware. Might, might be wrong, but I think so. Kurigami is a framework by KDE that actually has the components that you use for the UI. Let me make a very easy example. These cards with the shadow behind them, these are Kurigami components. The sidebar, this is a Kurigami component. All of this application is inside a Kurigami template application. If you open a lot of Kurigami apps, you will see that they look very similar. They are all Kurigami dot application uh, something. So this is Kurigami. Qt widgets, a bit older, C++. They, uh, I, I know Qt widgets less. Um, there's also here, not just Qt widgets, but something from Qt built on top, but I'm not particularly exper uh, expert in that. However, you do have like components throughout Qt widgets um, applications that are um, the same, converge, um, consistent, sorry. As an example, let's take the toolbar. Any toolbar in all KDE applications that actually use toolbars, 
you can actually customize. You just right click, configure toolbars, and you can change the, the order of the buttons, which button should be displayed, whether it should only have a icon or just text, and if so, what icon and what text. To, so a lot of pot pot uh, potential, a lot of things you can do. Kurigami apps, you don't have that. That's uh, mostly because Kurigami doesn't actually want to be the framework that stores data. So something should be built on top of Kurigami that stores a particular user configuration of the UI, and that hasn't been done yet. Uh, another good example of a QD widgets app is Ocular, like this one as an example. Here we have a toolbar, right click, toolbar settings, configure toolbar, same exact thing. You can see that these two between themselves are consistent and they look different from this one because these are QT widgets, this is um, Kurigami. So these are the application that feel like Plasma. Then there's Maui. Maui doesn't feel like Plasma. What's Maui? Let's open up index. I lost my index, sorry. <laughs> okay, this is index, this application. Do you notice anything different? I do, <laughs> it's completely different. Okay, so whereas there is an active effort to make sure that Kurigami and Qt Widgets app are consistent between each other and at least look like they're made by the same person, um, Maui doesn't try to achieve that. So what is Maui? Uh, or rather, Maui is the environment. This is a Maui application. Maui applications are built with Maui Kit. Maui Kit is built on top of Kurigami. So there is QML, programming language markup. Above it, there's Kurigami, which is made by uh, core KD developers to build a KD application with all of the widgets. And then on top of that, there is Maui, which is used to build this one. Again, it redefines the various uh, components of the application, changes how they look, changes how they behave significantly. So as an example, first of all, we have CSDs out of the box. That is currently something that KDE uh, core application don't do and probably will never do. That's something that the developers, me included, partially are generally against, KDE developers at least. So who, who is doing Maui then? And in theory, in theory, Maui is part of KDE. In practice, I've already talked about this, it's rather embarrassing because Maui has some apps uh, that are part of KDE. The framework Maui Kit, which is part of KDE. A part of the framework I discovered today whilst I was trying to build the index is not part of KDE for some reason. It is on a private repo, not private, but not on KDE's repo, so weird. And then there's a shell, a desktop shell, which is not part of KDE. And all of this together is Maui. So kind of together, with, it's very closely related to KDE. However, the main difference is that the people working on Discover and the people working on Dolphin, we actually have a significant intersection. Uh, so uh, this, there's a lot of people that work on both of these applications, making sure, and this makes sure really that there's a consistent design between them. The people that are working on Maui are just working on Maui and nobody that works on Kurigami and QWidgets application generally also contributes to Maui, generally. Of course, with significant exception, but usually this is entirely done as we could, where did, okay, about. Generally, all of this is done by Camilo. If you open all of Maui applications, they're all done by Camilo which <laughs> who I praise for their ability to make so many apps. I, I, I'm rather impressed. So these two categories are very much different. We not only have CSDs, we have a completely different concept. And there's also much more of a focus to make sure that uh, Maui applications are extremely convergent, meaning that you can use them in very small fo form factors such, an, such as a phone. If we take the Pine uh, phone, we can see that index is installed on it by default. Why is that? Because that's the only convergent KDE uh, file manager. Discover is also convergent to s some extent. You can see that it also works nicely. Dolphin, uh, generally, QT widgets application are less meant to be convergent. And you can see that this shoe looks right, <laughs> this one doesn't. Because Kurigami originally was meant to be um, the framework to make uh, applications convergent. Maui follows that. QT 
um, QT widgets app. Not quite, depends on the app, but in general, not quite. As far as I know, all of the latest apps done by KDE are Kirigami apps. And then of course there's Camilo doing Maui apps by himself, <laughs> almost. So I think that uh, as time passes, you'll see more and more Kirigami application. Another reason for that, and sorry if I bore you for so long, but I do want you to have a clear idea of what's going on, is that there is currently a lot of work to develop uh, Plasma Mobile, so a Plasma shell for mobile phones, such as the Pine, Note, uh, Pine phone, sorry. What that means is that you need applications that work on a phone. And since we built Kurigami for uh, that, like the, the goal of Kurigami is to make applications that are convergent, meaning work both on the desktop and on phones, generally the Plasma Mobile team uses Kurigami to make applications that work on the phone. But since Kurigami makes sure that application is convergent, meaning that it works both phone and desktop, all the applications that are done for the phone also work nicely on the desktop. And of course, Plasma Mobile developers also make sure that the applications that are meant for Plasma Mobile also work really nicely on Plasma Desktop too. So there's a series, uh, a very big series of applications that are built uh, from with Plasma Mobile in mind that are bringing actual real value to Plasma Desktop as well. Not all of them. Another example, um, Calendar is a very new application. It is built with Kurigami. It is built with Plasma Desktop in mind. Maybe it also works on Plasma Mobile as well. I'm not sure on that. I never tried, but I mean, it's converging. Should, I, I, I don't know, I never tried. And uh, that is an extremely powerful application. And it really tells you that Kurigami is able to do a complex application as well and not just mof mobile phones one. I've also heard Kurigami is just able to do mobile. No, no, it's also able to do a complex application. Last example, System Monitor. System Monitor is an application that is meant for desktops, obviously. <laughs> and just by looking at it, I think you at this point easily recognize that it is a Kurigami application because I mean, just look how similar they are with uh, between each other. So. Uh, it has the same card, the same sidebar, the same ideas. And again, uh, this application in, is extremely customizable. You just go edit page and you can edit anything just by drag and dropping. It is, see how much customization there is. There's a lot of customization. And this is to say that Kurigami apps not necessarily mean that you don't have customization. It feels so because on Dolphin you can like customize the toolbar and stuff whilst on most Kurigami apps you can't, but the apps that do require customization, such as the system monitor, are absolutely able to deliver it. So Kurigami I think is a very valid toolkit that I would suggest you check out. New applications for KDE are generally done in Kurigami. I would suggest against de developing new applications that are meant for the KDE community as a whole with MAUI, simply because MAUI is currently a bit closed in themselves, uh, also in terms of developer. Again, there's like this Camilo guy doing all of the applications. Kurigami has more developers behind them that are doing a variety of different applications. So I think there's more value to that. But of course, it, it is your pick and your choice. So this was uh, not too detailed. Uh, of course, we didn't see any code, but at least from the user part of it. Ah, uh, yes, one final remark. Obviously, with um, Kurigami apps meant to be convergent, so being able to use them on phones as well, they're much more much better when it comes to touch. Touch screen ability for Kurigami applications is generally better. Also Dolphin and apps like that work nicely because they have been ported to, but in general Kurigami apps are better. So that's also something to keep in mind and Maui being built on top of Kurigami inherits that for free. And that is the end of the video for <laughs> this time for real. I hope that you learned something and see you tomorrow with another video if, if, if you want. There's no, you, you don't have to. Just, I think you could 